Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, looking at new data coming in, still points to temperatures this weekend. Uh, not shy at all about getting well into the 90s, so more heat both Saturday and Sunday. We're going to bring up the humidity a little bit as well. Uh, it was more of a dry heat this afternoon, uh, not nearly as muggy or as humid as yesterday, though we've noticed in the last several hours the humidity is starting to inch back up. Very warm, summery, kind of a South Florida like night in Providence now. It's still 82 degrees at last check. Yeah, no, down to 81 now, so just dropped a degree, but still very warm. Cumberland at 80, mid and upper 70s along the south shore. New Bedford and Taunton, you are both in the 90s today. You're in the upper 70s at this hour, 79 in Taunton. Dew points, which were down as low as 60, 61. Compare that to the dew point yesterday of 75. It was just so high and humid. Now starting to inch up. In fact, very humid along the south shore right now. The dew points are back into the lower 70s. Anything approaching 70 or, 70 or higher, and you can feel sort of the mugginess in the air. Air quality alert, poor air quality alert in effect for tomorrow for southern suburbs, South Shore, Washington uh, County, Newport County, and southern uh, coastal uh, Massachusetts. High concentrations of ground level ozone. We take a look at uh, the heat advisory has been issued for the entire area, shaded in orange, except the islands block. Um, Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard. So by definition, heat advisory, these feel like temperatures are either 95 or higher. Now, even though we were hot today, we weren't not in the heat advisory because the humidity was low enough. Now that we have added humidity to the heat over the weekend, it's the reason why the heat advisory is back, actually both Saturday and into Sunday. So the heat wave continues, of course, keeping track. This is uh, day four. We have at least two more days, potentially uh, even into Monday, but at least a six-day heat wave. Uh, temperatures running good 10 to 12 degrees above average. Even a few degrees hotter this weekend. We're going to add some extra humidity as well. That's why the heat advisory has been issued. We'll be tracking a cold front on Monday, and the exact timing of that front will determine whether or not we get to 90. It'll be close. If we get to 90, that'll make it a seven-day heat wave, and then things will cool down with some thunderstorms that'll start to work in by uh, Monday afternoon and Monday evening with the approach of a cold front. It's quiet across New England as far as any showers or storms. We'll get in real close, and we'll take you through the overnight, which is warm in the 70s. Tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., it's already 82 degrees. Watch how rapidly these numbers go up. 95, 96 degrees in many areas. Even the beaches in the south shore are pretty warm. Coastline about 85 to 90. 6 o'clock in the evening, it's in the lower 90s, and then warm and very humid tomorrow night at 11 o'clock. Temperatures in the upper 70s. By 11 a.m., it's already 90. In fact, this morning at 11 a.m., we had already hit 90, and then easily about 95, 96 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Some extra humidity, and that's why these feel like temperatures, what we call the heat index, running about 95 to 100. Beaches, any early morning fog burning off rapidly, very warm. Water temperature at 75. The surf running at four to five feet. Do swim with caution. The beaches will be crowded. Bay forecast has a little fog in the morning, but improving southwest wind at 10 to 15 knots. There's your heat for both Saturday and into Sunday. A cold front with some thunderstorms on Monday will bring back the heat. Uh, we'll bring back some cooler weather by Tuesday of next week. Mike and Shannon.